This is our Fabry Pro setup for the Physics 202 lab. Let me go through the parts. Over here we have actually two lasers, our usual long lab laser, and we have a shorter laser we'll be using later on in the lab. Right now we're just using the, the, the long laser. We're taking the light from the laser, bouncing it off a couple of mirrors, and directing it into this device. This is our Fabry Pro interferometer. It's got two mirrors, one here and one here. They're curved mirrors. They have a radius of curvature of 38.6 millimeters, and they're positioned 38.6 millimeters apart. That puts, because they're curved mirrors, right, these mirrors are, are focusing mirrors, and it puts the focal point of the two mirrors right in the center of the cavity. So this is called the confocal configuration. The mirrors are not 100% reflective. They only reflect 97 or 98%. So that means about 2% of the light, 2 or 3%, can get through the back of the mirror and enter into the cavity. So we're actually sending light into the cavity through the back mirror. It's bouncing around inside the cavity. Because they're curved, the light takes a path that looks like a bow tie. It goes through the mirror, bounces off, and a mirror, a, a plane, a, a line, a ray that's off axis kind of makes a bow tie pattern bouncing around between the mirrors before it reaches its entry point and, and repeats. So all the rays going in kind of follow this bow tie pattern, making two passes through the cavity. And if there, in the course of those two passes there's an integral number of half wavelengths, then you get a resonant condition and you get light coming out of it. Now, to use this to analyze what's going on in the laser, we're actually taking the mirrors and this one over here can be electronically scanned back and forth very rapidly. And as, it does, as we're doing that, you can see the output flickers as we pass through these residences. We can use that to figure out what's going on inside the laser. The other mirror over here has a mechanical adjustment so we can precisely position it to achieve this confocal uh, condition where the focus of the two mirrors is right at the center of the cavity. Getting the focus is critical for uh, maximize, maximizing the output of the Fabry Pro. So what we're going to do in the next step is replace our card over here looking at the output of the laser with our electronic detector and send the output of that into the oscilloscope. So here we put the uh, photodiode to detect the output of the beam and we're looking at the oscilloscope trace. What we're seeing here is the upper trace is the voltage being applied to the moving mirror, the fabric pro. So as we scan that voltage, the mirror moves first in one direction, and then as voltage turns around, it scans it back the other way. So the whole pattern repeats at uh, two or three hertz. So you can think of this as showing you the position of the mirror as a function of time as it scans along. As it does scan along, we see a signal on the bottom showing we occasionally hit a resonance. When we make that the cavity resonant with the laser frequency, we get a, a peak in the output, and it's, uh, it repeats. It's not particularly sharp right now because I haven't optimized the position of the mirror. So now I'm going to adjust that mechanical adjustment to put the mirrors in that confocal position. And as I scan it along, we should see the signal First getting more symmetric and then getting bigger. Now I've gone past the optimum position, so let me back up. All right, so it looks like we're at this confocal condition right here. So our resonance peaks are now nice and sharp, and you see the pattern repeats. This represents the, the uh, the different resonances as, as, the, as the mirror scans along. So right now it looks like our laser is putting out multiple frequencies 